That's it. Stay. Stay. Alright, come on. Cool. Morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Walk with Regis. I did manage to finally upload six videos yesterday at once, but it took so long that by the time I was done, you know, it was the end of the day and I just called it a night. So I'm going to upload another six today, hopefully do the rest, and then I'll be caught up and then I'll start trying to edit as I make them. That's the plan. The plan is that every day I make one, it only takes a couple minutes to edit it. Mostly. And then from my editing software, I can just upload it directly to YouTube without having to save, exit out that app, then turn around and go into YouTube, then turn around and try to find the video I need that I just finished editing to upload. No, I don't got to do all that. The app itself uploads directly to YouTube the finished product you have created, which is what I like. So the weather today will be low 80s, 81, 82, rain, there will be rain, today's my day off so I might get a little more sleep, I didn't really see anything in the news story, just they're, they're talking about this lady that organized the bus trip that crashed on the side of the road injuring more than 50 people. There have been no shootings. Police are investigating a burglary on hurdle of a bakery. And I think that was it. Like really there wasn't anything. Nothing interesting anyway. Yesterday work was okay. We got free pizza, which is always awesome. Shout out to Daddy O's Pizza. Everybody needs to go try Daddy O's Pizza. The website is eatpapaeat.com. Their bacon pizza was amazing. And it was one heavy pizza, so he didn't hold back on the toppings. It was one loaded pizza. It was so loaded that one slice was very filling. Now, how many pizza chains can you talk about where the pizza is that loaded? I tried to eat my second slice, but I just couldn't do it. My boyfriend, who's a big eater, tried to eat his second slice. And he couldn't do it because the pizza was very satisfying. It was very filling. It was just the best. And it tasted so good. I don't know what sauce he used, but the sauce complemented the bacon very well. I'm so glad I dragged that home. It took me a while to get a chance to eat the pizza and only because my manager felt sorry for me and took over register for five minutes so I can go eat my slice. Everyone else was able to wander off and eat their slice, but I was having so many customers because my register that I use is in direct line of sight with where the customers come towards the register, so I'm like the first person they see. And they all just pile up in that register. They don't bother to look to see if there are other registers open. They just line up at that one register. And then they get angry when they wait. But when we try to tell them open on two or open on three, they just stand there and stare at us. Or they, they turn and look at what we're saying. But we're shouting at the top of our lungs so you know they hear us. And they just stare 
I mean, like, we're trying to tell you where the open free registers are. So that way you can get checked out quick. So that way you're not angry that you're waiting. And you're standing there doing nothing and waiting. So what sense does that make? I've started to say, if you want to wait, stay here. If you want to get checked out quickly, go to register whatever. You know, two, three, whatever they tell, whatever I hear them saying. And that seems to stir people. And then I'll pull my mask away from my mouth and then shout it a little louder than, than I want to because I don't really want to damage my vocals. But even then, after those few people leave at the end of the line, more people join. More people just automatically look at this one register and they're like, okay, I'll stand here in line but behind these three people instead of seeing if other registers are open. Mm -hmm. That makes total sense. Or here's the quite opposite that's happened quite a number of times. I'll be standing there with nobody in line. And everybody would be pulling up on register four. And I would be yelling, open on four. And they'll just walk right past me. Just keep walking right past me. Without looking at me. And I'm sitting there waving my arms going, I'm open on four. and Or I'm open on six. And they just keep walking. And I'll look over at my managers. And I'll be like, oh well. They walked. They kept walking. Sometimes I have to go to the end of the register. Go over to them. Tug their shoulders. Tap their shoulders, tug their uh, shirts, and go, I'm open on six. I can get you right now. And then they act like the most grateful people in the world. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of our video. If you guys like this video, you can hit the like button. If you don't like this video, you can hit the dislike button. It don't bother me. Share if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. Sorry for the big shot of the belly. I wasn't intending that. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, Bye.